Hello and welcome to this very quick tutorial on how to use um, C sound within FMOD and bring it into Unreal Engine. So this simple um, FMOD session I have is the same FMOD session that I created at the start of the tutorial involving Unity. So you might want to just go to that tutorial, just watch the first three or four minutes of that because um, I'm using the same project. Okay. Uh, once you've seen that, or once you've, if you're already familiar with using FMOD, uh, when you're using FMOD with Unreal, you need to set the output directory for your bank. Okay, so you go to Edit Preferences, you go to Builds, and then you select. Specifically, you need to select. So you go to your FMOD, or sorry, you go to your Unreal project folder, go to Content, and you click on the FMOD content folder. Um, if there isn't one there, create one called FMOD, and then select it. Okay, so. That's fine, and then I'm going to build that, no problem. So I'm going to open up my Unreal game here. I've just just used the basic template for a first-person shooter. Um, so blah, 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 zack, zack, zack. Right, uh, if you follow the instructions on the FMOD website and documentation, it'll tell you how to bring the FMOD plugin into Unreal Engine. Basically, it involves copying their plugins and putting it into the Unreal project folder. Okay, once you've brought FMOD in, you should have access to the FMOD help and documentation menus here. You can also hit validate FMOD, which will tell you that um, it'll tell you that FMOD has been set up okay, or if it's not. Okay, I'm getting this. It says the banks require the following plugins, but no plugin file names are listed in the settings. Right, um, and then it says finish validation. Okay, so this FMOD session that I have here uses a plugin called Simple Noise this plugin here um, we need to tell Unreal that we're using that particular plugin not only do we have to tell Unreal we also have to copy that plugin to the Unreal project directory so if I go to this is where my plugins are, st are saved okay so simple noise deal out. and that's the same directory by the way that's pointed to here under assets okay um, so I'm going to copy those two. You also always have to copy the CSD file with the DLL, and I'm going to put it into my Unreal projects. I'm going to go to Unreal FMOD test. I'm going to go to plugins, FMOD Studio, binaries, Win64. Okay, and you can drop the plugins in there. I already have them dropped in. Okay, so I can replace the files. Right. Now, the next thing is in Unreal we need to go to project settings. Again, project settings. We scroll down to the FMOD Studio plugin settings. We scroll down here and then we add the name of the plugin that we're going to use. In this case, it's simple noise. Okay, uh, make a change there. Unreal is going to reload all the FMOD banks. So now if we actually down here in the content browser, we have our FMOD stuff, we can go to events and we see we've got the simple simple noise event. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to get rid of that from there. Now, we can drop that event in here. Um, people who know Unreal better will probably be able to work out better ways of working with this stuff. I don't really know Unreal so well. Um, but anyway, I'm going to create a new level blueprint. Um, because this event is highlighted in the editor, I can right click and I can create a reference to that event. The simple noise. Okay, I'm going to drag off that and I'm going to call play. So I've got FMOD components play. And I'm just going to use the left mouse button. So I'm going to do mouse button, left mouse button. So when the left mouse button is pressed, we're going to trigger that event to play. Hopefully when this works, we should get a sound. Uh, we are getting a sound, a very slight click. Why is that? Oh yeah, it's because our bandwidth is set to basically zero. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that the bandwidth parameter, this bandwidth parameter here, is up. So how do we do this? Um, I'm going to right click and strike it, set parameter, set parameter, 
So okay, set parameter there, uh, f my components, that looks like the one. Uh, I'm hesitant because I've never done this before, I don't really use Unreal. Name, okay, let's try set that to bandwidth. Bandwidth, and I'm going to set the volume, or not the volume, but the value to be one. Uh, with the, mm, okay, perhaps I should have changed this to go between zero, or uh, this slider to go between zero and 20,000. Um, that would make more sense because in this case, one is going to be 20,000 and zero is going to be zero. But anyway, if I was doing um, a more intricate project, I probably would do that to make things easier. So I'm going to take the left mouse button past this to here, and then I'm going to send that into here. I'm going to play it. And then, yeah, okay, everything's working there. So uh, stop. I don't want class settings. What did I do there? Play again. Okay. So I'm going to see some of that in on here. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Don't forget to copy your plugin DLLs into your Unreal project and don't forget to set your Unreal project FMOD Bank in FMOD Studio. Okay, thanks.